Candidates keeping their eye on Wall Street after the worst start to the year ever for the markets. That trouble in China fueling worldwide fears. ABC's Lindsay Davis is at the New York Stock Exchange with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. What a difference a day makes. The Dow opening up about 100 points. This after a rough one here on Wall Street yesterday, where we saw drops of more than 400 points during the day, and then it closed down more than uh, 2%. And the Dow is actually down more than 5% since the beginning of the year, largely due to concerns with China. Global unrest and falling oil prices are causing a ripple effect in U.S. markets. But some much-needed good news from China this morning. After a 7% drop yesterday that halted Chinese markets after after just 14 minutes of trading, Chinese markets closed up today. Perhaps we have some much needed calm for jittery investors. Robin. Well, again, I've been looking at China number one because they have the greatest bubble in the world. They have overbuilt their economy for 12 to 15 years in the future. Massive migration into cities where people don't really have jobs. They have them building stuff for nobody. And that's what they've been doing for 15 years. I have never seen a bubble to compare to this. So I'm saying, look, we have a bubble around the world in demographic spending, which keeps declining in more countries. And we can predict this by country. Japan was the first to peak, and then the U.S., and now Europe. But we also have the greatest debt bubble in modern history, two to four times what we've seen back in the roaring 20s. Last time we had a debt bubble. And all we need, like in 2008 with the subprime crisis, is a trigger to cause this debt bubble to reset and, and deleverage, or, or what I call a financial detox. And, and this is happening. I've been looking at China number one because it had the greatest stock bubble in the shortest period of time with the least sophisticated investors who were jumping out of the real estate bubble there to get into the stock bubble, and now it's collapsing. And the government is doing the same thing, Alex, it did in 1929 when the U.S. stock bubble started to burst. Both bubbles went down 42% in two and a half months, and then the government steps in and starts buying its own stock market to try to prop it up, and it only lasts about four months before the bubble collapses and get worse. You cannot stop a bubble from bursting once you create it. The only way you can stop a bubble is not to create it in the first place, and nobody gets that. We are in a bubble around the world. Commodities, we've been predicting for years, have already collapsed. Nobody thought oil would be at $32 a barrel. We said it would be $20 to $30 a barrel years ago. Uh, nobody thought that, that uh, you know, the, the U.S. bubble would burst in real estate in 2005. We said it'll burst. Now it's going to burst more. So investors and people need to say, look, We've had this great bubble. It's been artificially stimulated by governments around the world, especially the Fed here in the United States. Take your gains from the bubble and turn it back into cash and liquidity so you can survive.